Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Today our topic is kind of interesting and you know this uh, cult is English I mean to talk about it and to share knowledge with people who do not know. Um, most of us maybe I don't know how many but uh, many of us at least knew that uh, Hindus believe in reincarnation and the reincarnation for the Hindus that uh, the one who die uh, he will be coming back either if he was a good person uh, he will be uh, created as a human being if he was a bad person depending who you are like what you what you used to do or used to be so the idea is that the one who did something wrong he will be punished by recreating him in a way where it's not respected or let us say a down creature there's a high level creature and there's a down creature and the idea is very simple that's when you are a created uh, you die and then after you die you come back to life it's a cycle of life as we see in this image here so you have birth and then you have death a rebirth let us say a death rebirth birth it's a cycle you die you come back to life so it doesn't matter how many times you die still you will come back to life but you will come something different so it depends in you who you are what you did and supposedly your fruits then you know you will be what supposedly the supreme power will make out of you We will go a little bit in details in the Quran. In chapter 19, 29, verse number 19, it says, <clears throat> Don't they see, or see thus, say they not, how Allah produced creation, then he reproduced it? Lu Allah, for Allah uh, that is easy so don't they see I mean how we can see that I mean what does that mean because in order to say that this is something we can see and we can witness we have to be part of it otherwise uh, as I know the one who died not come back you know what I mean the one who died already we did not see any of them is coming back unless you know you believe in Christ that the Christ he died and he came back but Christ came back he is the same person he is not different person so he this is a resurrection but here we are talking about the creation and Allah is speaking about how he this is his logic don't they see okay how we can see that and where we can see that if we go right now and search a little bit in Google let me do that uh, for the reincarnation of Hinduism you see I'm not a specialist in Hinduism I don't claim knowledge of it uh, but you know I think it's not hard to understand what they believe <coughs> we will find many <coughs> example of that in the front of us here there is a, you know there is drawing made by Hindus Jiva soul birth growth uh, doing the link uh, production so you know the Jew the, the, the Hindus they have their own belief and the, the belief is very simple 
if you if you go more in details like you know and what uh, what uh, Hinduism is about you will find that many things in Islam is coming really from the Hinduism the black stone the sexual uh, uh, stone uh, the Hajj uh, shaving the head when you do uh, uh, go around the Hajj around the Kaaba uh, the showing one side of your shoulder uh, all of those is rituals is stolen from uh, Hindu but things go more far from those things it goes even for the creation for you used to be something and then you became something else let me see uh, uh, I'm trying to find an image which can explain uh, better uh, for us the cycle of life for the Hindus <clears throat> And I know that no Muslims they will say this is not true, etc. But we will show you if this is true or not. I mean, everything here we say, it have to come with reference, not just uh, making a statement or a blind statement. Um, let us see. basic concept you see I'm just looking I'm not I'm not preparing for this I'm just looking the same uh, this time this is the first time I read this statement here I mean this page in front of me like you so the basic concept of re uh, reincarnation and karma in Hinduism in other terms it is known as rebirth transmigration of the soul metamysophysics a passage from one body to another to begin again so what what the Hindu they believe as you see here that the rebirth of the soul can come back physically in many ways which can be a human or something in the nature or even uh, vegetation or a tree or a uh, uh, you know, uh, an animal. So we notice here there's a lot of things we will find in the Quran coming perfectly fit with this understanding. The same as the Buddhists too, you know, because Buddhism and Hinduism, they are, you know, let us say, relative. So, uh, you are you are exist today as something tomorrow you will be something else depend in what you do in this life so this life is a journey and then your life will be taken away from you and the supreme power will create recreated you again or let us say a rebirth of your this the soul will rebirth or reborn again in different body different uh, uh, creature and that is dependent in what you did and what you know what you went through during your lifetime. Uh, <clears throat> but what all of this have to do with Islam? Do we have any Muslim here in the chat? Well, the the karma, you know, you you have your own uh, definition for the karma. Karma is a word. It can be. It can mean something to me. It can mean something different to you. So, uh, for us as a Christian, we believe nothing of what it's Hinduism believe in zero. You can say, like generally speaking, there is like uh, uh, you know supposedly being good, etc. Okay, no problem. But as a as a belief, we have nothing really to share because the reincarnation in Christianity. Is have nothing to do with the reincarnation in Hinduism. As an example, you know, we in in heaven, we will be uh, new people. You see, we will be resurrected, but we will have a new body. But this is normal because simply we are resurrected, which means our body already is destroyed. So God will create another cre you know creation of us, and then we will go and we will have different nature in heaven. But in Hinduism or Buddhism is different. 
you are the rebirth or recreation that it's a cycle continue they never stop you are reborn you die reborn you die reborn you die so this cycle is simply far away from what we believe all right and sometime you are a human sometime you are a cat sometime you are a cow sometime you are a man that is not what you know we do not believe in such a thing somebody saying if you kill an animal you will reincarnate as same animal and that animal will kill you okay well somebody saying that you know uh, 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 you see my topic is not really about Hindu my topic is about Islam so what this have to do with Islam all of this what what would this have to do with Islam many of us we think that Islam as they claim are the Abrahamic religion and Abrahamic religion believe in what the Christian believe and what the Jews believe but you know sadly most of the Christians they have no idea what Islam is about as an example if we go in the Quran not only here in this verse it says that Allah he create and he create again the Quran make it clear that when Allah he created Adam he created him as an inheritance which means there is people before Adam was exist But how that can be? Who, what, what people we are talking about? Let us open the verse. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Many verses in the Quran is speaking about the reincarnation. As an example, chapter 27, verse number 64, it says, Isn't it he the best who produced creation? Then he reproduced. So he produced and then he reproduced. So how the produce happen and then reproduce? Let us go more deep into this topic. Uh, then if you go in chapter 29 verse number 20 it says Muhammad say Muhammad travel in the land see how originated the creation then Allah bring forth later a growth the translation is not really uh, correct because he says Yunshu nash'at al -ukhra. So go and see how Allah He created. Let us, let us change the translator, and you will see right away how how the text change in a miraculous way, as usual. Uh, let us see Yusuf Ali. All right. Travel in the earth and see how Allah produced. A later creation what later creation this is in his time Muhammad he see what is created already what later creation what he's talking about everyone you meet around you he was recreated this is later creation there's a there's previous creation and there's a later creation but if you think about it if Islam is an is a uh, is an Abrahamic religion then God he created only Adam and Eve and the rest is reproduction is not recreation yes we say that God he created us but the fact he created only one man and one woman and from their seeds we are which mean the real creation is of God he created the first and then after that there is no creation but here is talking about later creation so to understand that more we will go to more verses. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 30, verse number uh, 27, it says, He is who produce creation, then he reproduce. Again, repeating the same thing. So he is the one who produce and by the, by the way here the translation again is a stupid because it says 
هو الذي يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده. It is he, it is he, which means Allah, who started the creation, then he reproduced the creation. Okay. Now, how many times this produce is going to be? Maybe the Muslim will say to you, well, we, you know, you Christian believe that uh, it will be resurrected. Well, this is not really what the Quran is saying here. The Quran is not saying that. How we can prove this? <clears throat> if you go in the Quran, in different verse, you will find the following. And this verse will make it very clear for us. Chapter 20, sorry, chapter 2, verse number 28. How did this, how this believe ye in Allah when you were dead and he gave you life to you? And then he will give you death. Then life again. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. Guys, do you see it? Guys, don't change my topic. Who is talking about honor clean now? What this is? What this have to do with my topic? Anyone will go out of my topic, I will block you. Either you are here to listen, or you are just a kid, not immature, trying to disturb our our chat. Now, guys, does it say that Allah? How you disbelieve when you were dead? Okay, and then He gave you life. Okay, this is the second stage. Let us say, for the sake of argument, this is the recreation uh, after death, which means resurrection. All right. Then he will give you death. Okay, that we will. So I was dead in the beginning already. <laughs> Do you see it? I was dead. Then he gave me life. Then he gave me death. And then he gave me life. And then you will come back, return. It's a cycle. How clear we can make it more than this? Do you see it? How I was dead now for sure the Muslims and they try to explain that and they say oh you were nothing but it doesn't say you were nothing oh you were not exist it doesn't say that it says you were dead there's a huge difference between you were dead and you will not exist do you understand well isn't it this is a reincarnation you tell me what do you think I was dead then he gave me life and then I die and then he gave me life and then I go back to him to do what to recreate me again <laughs> isn't it obvious and then in order to to uh, to solve this problem the Muslims everyone he give you his own interpretation for this verse because this is very funny. I mean, it doesn't make any sense unless you are a Hindu. It doesn't make any sense. Some interpretation, they say, oh, you were a sperm, but the sperm was not dead. And I wasn't a sperm. What do you mean I was a sperm? I was a sperm. Is that what you think? Allah, he created the sperm? No, Allah did not create the sperm. If Allah is God, God, he created Adam and he created Eve. And he gave them the ability to produce a sperm. It is Adam who is producing sperm. So, uh, unless, like, until the sperm became, you know, united with the egg and fertilized the egg, there is no person. There is no person as me. And there is no person as you. So, suddenly, they try to say, you were semen. But semen is not dead, as you see. Semen is not dead. Is a living creature actually it's a it's a it's a cell it's a life the same as the egg it's not dead here it says it clearly you were dead and he gave life to you and then he will give you death and then life again so we start with death but in order to be dead you have to be living before is that correct, guys?
in order to be dead the first death let us focus on the first death in order to be dead in the first time I have to be a living being before so here we have already it says that you were a life you were a life you were a life and then you became dead then he gave you life then he gave you death then he gave you life then you return into him if you go to any uh, Hindu cyclation you will see that this is what it is if we go to different verse in the Quran you will see can we see the tafsir for this verses you can see the tafsir but the tafsir they don't give you any tafsir because everyone is guessing as I say to you you can open any tafsir you want every Muslim scholar trying to explain some they say it uses sperm so you used to be semen uh, you know they are guessing do you see anywhere it says semen and if, if you were semen you are not dead <laughs> you know what I mean and if you are not created yet how you can die if you are not created yet So here there is something missing in the story and look Allah is saying to who to the time to the people in the time of Muhammad you need to notice here something very important how they disbelieve okay why they should not disbelieve why listen carefully when you were dead so those people who Muhammad he speak to them he be, they believe that they were dead is a question why you don't believe you were dead so what is the belief they believe in make them believe that before they became men living in the front of Muhammad they were dead do you understand me Muhammad in this verse is speaking about who speaking about people who live in his time all right saying to them how do you disbelieve what is the logic of Muhammad not well, I mean you should not I mean are you crazy why you disbelieve don't don't you know don't you know don't you see you were dead and then he gave you life that's mean those who the Muhammad he speak to they are people who believe in what Muhammad believe so he's using their logic you were dead My friend, we are not talking about Jesus being resurrected now. Just wait. Let us finish this topic. Please don't repeat your, your text. I can see I'm not a blind. You know, as long as I'm not answering it's mean it's not time for it yet. So the cycle of life is very obvious. You you were you know you were created. Actually, if you go and ask. Let us try to find a little bit more information. Hold on. From the Hindu uh, belief. <clears throat> what is the stage of water in this cre creation? Water. Let us see if we can find. Hmm. All right. The first was nothing but Lord Bah Barhaman. Out of the water come comes Lord Vishnu, who contains all the element of a creation. Out of what? Out of the water. All right. Lord Vishnu, he came out of the water. 
and this water contain all the element of a creation if we go back in the Quran you will find the Quran saying the following <clears throat> too many verses to show it's endless but you know it's okay In chapter 21, verse number 30, it says, Have not those who disbelieve known that the heaven and the earth were one piece, and then we parted them, and we made every living thing of water. The first was, there was nothing but Lord, Brahman out of the water comes Lord Vishnu Vishnu who contain all the element of a creation Brahma create the world from his own body we showed you how many verses saying that Allah is the origin of the world Allah is the origin going back here Allah created everything from water. Who is a Muslim agree with Allah that he created everything from water? Any Muslim? Because look what happened here. By agreeing that everything is created from water, that means we have to agree that everything created from water. Correct, guys? I mean, there's no exception. It, said, it says everything. It doesn't say human. It is, doesn't say vegetation. It doesn't say the fish. Everything. And every living thing specifically. Every living thing created from water. If we ask the Muslims, was the angels created from water? They will say no, from light. If we ask the Muslims, was the genie who live in this earth created from water? They will say, no, the Quran says he created from fire. So how the Quran says every living thing created from water? Here you will see Muhammad is adopting the Hindu belief, inserting it in his book, but by doing that, he got himself in the corner. As usual so you are dead you were dead and then Allah he recreated you or let us say he gave you life again sorry you see here you notice here how Muhammad he is not smart even with the words because when he said how this believe ye that's mean he is confirming to them something they agree with you know what I mean? Like, it's me and you, we are debating. And you say to me, uh, I'm hungry. And I say to you, well, how hungry you can be? And we just ate. Which means something we cannot deny. Me and you, we agree upon. So how this believe ye? And what is the reason they cannot believe? Because you were dead. So how, the, how those people, they witnessed for themselves they were dead? Unless they are people believe. A reincarnation that they were really dead and then they became alive again and then you will go back to death and then you will be given life again and then you will return back in the original state which was anyone remember anyone remember water and then Allah will give you life again so it is a cycle of life never stop it is a Hindu practice Hindu belief and not only that you know when uh, when the Quran or you know Islam 
teach and say like Muslims they say to you many many Muslims they say to you uh, let us see let, let us give it a try who is a Muslim here would like to answer me who is the first creature Allah he created in the earth any Muslim can tell me <coughs> Any Muslim can tell me who is the first creature Allah He created according to Islam? They will say to you, Adam. They will say to you, Adam. But why they will say that? Because they are ignorant. If we go to their Islamic website, and here we go, this is Islam Web, and this is the Sheikh is answering. Islamweb.net. You know what? Let me copy this uh, website into a uh, 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 Google browser so I can translate into English using auto translation. You know, auto translation is not accurate, but better than nothing. So at least you can read. So this is uh, IslamWeb.net, and this is the fatwa number. Fatwa number nine three nine six zero. The numbers are in, in in Arabic. I will click translate in the front of your eyes. I will translate to English. Life before the question. Life before Adam has come down to earth, which means what, there was life before Adam, before he come down to earth. Question, was there before, I'm just trying to fix the translation in front of you, you know, you know this is Google automatic translation. Was it life before Adam has come down to earth, which means if there is, was life before Adam? The answer is the following. Praise be to Allah as usual. There was inhabitants on the earth. And the life before Adam, peace be upon him, he mentioned the verses in the other people interpretation, words the Almighty, uh, funny translation, what lips? <laughs> Let me see what it says in Arabic. <laughs> Hold on. Um, okay, yeah, so like what Allah says, the, the Google translation, Allah, he says, uh, the chapter of Al-Baqarah, verse number 30. We will show you this verse soon. All right? So, uh, uh, the translation of Google saying to you, from the from the word of Allah, that's, he said, are you going to do, create somebody who will do mischief in their in and shed the blood? Chapter of the cow, verse number 30. All right? So, they are saying that, Yes, there was a creatures and creation before Adam in the earth, and this is why the angels and he said to them, You are going to create and somebody to inherit the earth. And then you will see here it says, It says that there that there is uh, uh, angels had seen and learned that it was uh, corrupting of the jinn and the blood was shed in the earth. There was jinn before the creation of Adam and corruption and bloodshed. God sent them Satan, and with him he sent an army, genie. And then he strike them and they run away from him and they live in the mountains and in islands. So those creatures who used to live before Adam, they shed the blood and they killed. And then Allah, he sent Satan with an army to attack those who did this and he kicked them out to the islands like Hawaii as an example or mountains like uh, the Rocky Mountains. And by the way, this is a true story. I, I saw it. All right. So as you see, this is the Muslims agree that there was a creation before Adam. But where all this confusion is coming from? It must be there is something behind all this confusion. All right. I mean, nothing is coming from nowhere. Or where the smoke come from where? Some, somewhere. If you go in the Quran, you will see the following. <coughs> Uh, 
chapter 2 verse number 30 the same verse from the cow chapter and when the Lord says to the angels uh, I am going to uh, create somebody to inherit theirs you see this is the uh, translation of the Muslims so this person he will inherit the earth okay how he will inherit if there's nobody there no he will inherit the people who was there as you see we showed you from the Islamic interpretation that there was people who they are shedding blood is not Adam who will shed the blood supposedly so there are people who they are shedding blood and you see the second you say blood it's mean there was a there was a creatures who they have a blood I mean is it obvious Do you understand me this is a chapter 2 verse number 30 in order to shed the blood of somebody that body should have a blood do we agree does it say here the word of blood do you see the word blood with me <clears throat> or nobody notice it <coughs> so the the you know and here by the way there's a there's a problem why they are saying that about Adam because they are saying he will shed the blood why because supposedly according to Muslims there was people before and Allah he sent the army of shaitan to fight them so he's saying to them you will repeat the same mistake you know what I mean are you going to repeat the same mistake now if we try to find who are they those who used to live in this ground or this earth then the story will get so funny and so complicated I don't know if I should talk about this now or maybe in other time what do you think guys shall we continue maybe tomorrow or we continue you tell me <clears throat> What do you think? Tomorrow? Because the story will get really complicated and you will hear things maybe you never like. I mean, usually I don't talk about those things because there is no reason for us to talk about them. Now? Now, now? Now, now. Okay, now, now. No problem, now, now. I mean, what's wrong with now, now? Now, now is good. <laughs> you know, I remember uh, uh, when I was in the Philippines, I, I asked a guy to uh, to clean something. Uh, uh, sorry, I asked him first, what's your name? He said, no, no, sir. I said, what's your name, man? You know, he's the maintenance guy. I asked him to, you know, to do something. He said, no, no, man. No, no, sir. I said, what do you mean, no, no? What's your name? Anyway, to make the story short, it, I found later that his name is No Noi. So I was thinking that he is saying to me, no, no, sir. Yeah, you know, like his name is No Noi. So as long as you say now, now, we continue with now, now. Before Allah created those creatures, according to the Muslims, there was a list of a creation and this list is kind of very weird uh, let us take this first let me find the first reference then because there's tons of reference <clears throat> all right this is the book it's called Akhbaru Zaman Lil Mas'udi. Watabqal Ardu Kharaban min al alam summa yastani for Allahu Azza wa Jalla. I will translate to you, don't worry. And then Dukir Adikra al Umam al Makhluqat Kabla Adam Alihi Salam wa yukal and naha kanat al Jumla Thaman yawa ashruna umma. Before Adam there was a twenty eight nation. Twenty-eight nation before Adam, and uh, they used to live in high mountains and high ground. And 
what happens simply and as here, here here he described those people to see how he described them uh, and their uh, and their and their uh, their creation is different all of it is coming from water and air all the things Allah he created is coming from water and air and fire and ground and it is different in the look and the creation from them a nation who is very long tall and they are very light and they are blue with wings when they speak they do farqa like this you know they don't talk like this is how they talk and from them a nation who was with the body of a body like a lion and their head like the heads of a bird and they have hair and they have tail and when they speak their their words is like explosion and there is a nation have every one of them have two faces one in the front and one in the back and many legs and they speak like birds and one of them another nation is the jinn and the jinn it's a nation in the images of dogs they have tail and when they speak they speak with hamhama which means which and you don't understand and there's a nation it looked like the nation of adam by their mouth and their chest but they whistle which means when they talk they whistle Hmm? And there is a nation which is like the nation of the snakes. They have wings and they have legs and they have tails. And there is a nation, they are half a human. They have one eye and one hand and one leg and they jump like boing, boing, boing. And when they speak, like birds in the sky or or the, the daughter of Allah and there is ومنها, umma, and there's a nation they have faces like faces of a human but they have body of a turtle and their hands is full of nails and their head have many horn and their horn is long when they speak they speak like wolves and there's a nation I mean I, if I want to continue I was uh, I will stay until tomorrow all right uh, and they have and, and uh, they, they have uh, two faces they have actually and there's a nation each one of them have two face hit two heads every head have two faces a face of a, a, a lion and uh, uh, yeah they have two faces of a lion and they are tall and nobody understand their words their language and there's a nation they have round face and they have hair like uh, 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 white hair and tail like lion sorry the tail like a cow and uh, uh, I don't know what he mean here by user I mean uh, I think like uh, uh, they scare the people by their by their uh, uh, sounds and there is a nation all of them they are women they have the like the look of a woman and they have hair and they have a breast and there is not even a single male between them I want to join this nation please give me the address now if we try to translate this into English let us see um, where does Google translation all right uh, maybe this is uh, ah, this is uh, Firefox this is why it doesn't open here okay hold on let us do this we have to open it in uh, Google browser so we can translate <coughs> all right we close this one and we bring this one because we want you to you know to uh, to see this is how it is and by the way this is a very Islamic library and this is a Shia library but this is not a Shia book just take a note this is just an Islamic library 
And here we go, click at translation, translate into English. And you can compare between everything I say to you and what you see here. All right. As you see here, they are God Almighty created them from different uh, 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 substance. The origin of water, air, fire, and earth. They are different creation, including na nation, uh, blah, 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 as I told you, you know. You can read the rest. And some Muslims, they might say to you, well, why I want to take this into consideration? At least give me a scholar. He might be a big deal. Okay, what about Ibn Kathir? Forget about this guy. Can we go to Ibn Kathir? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us find. <clears throat> Give me a second. <coughs> All right, this is Ibn Kathir. You see this, uh, you know, my eyes hurt really from looking all day into the computer. Um, but, you know, what we can do, we have... All right. Like if we search for what Ibn Kathir he taught, right? Look what you see in the videos. This is the Muslim video speaking about this. This is not my video. This is videos made by Muslim to, to prove this issue. This is the book of Al-Bidaya and al uh, uh, If we click in it, you will see what Ibn Kathir he said. But let us, before we click in this here, uh, maybe we can translate this part because uh, if you click in it, you cannot translate because this is Google book. Let me try to translate here. Uh, translate, hold on. Translate into English. All right. This is the Ibn Kathir, Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. Ibn Kathir, as you see. All right. It says here there was many creations, and he is counting two creations specifically. There is one, his name is Jin, and there is one, his name is Bin. Bin. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> and then so he created the jinn before Adam peace be upon him and then there was uh, uh, other creatures uh, who is exist at that time not only uh, those jinn uh, there is a creatures they are called al hin wal bin here the translation is coming funny it says a ground uh, robin but it doesn't say that really it says al hin al hinnu will be the translation here for the word coffee because this is what the word bin or bun mean in arabic mean uh, coffee but it's not really uh, the word coffee so there is there is a creatures who they are called al hin and there is a creatures who they are called uh, al bin and there is a creatures who they are called al jinn and this is ibn kathir this is ibn kathir this is not me speaking all right and here we go if we click at the at the book this is Ibn Kathir and this is volume number one let us zoom in a little bit for those who wanna from the Muslims maybe they will say this is not true cannot be true whatever the chapter of a creating of a genie and the creating of shaitan uh, Varium uh, number one, uh, uh, Varium number one, Hadith number 58, as it shows here in the screen. All right. And then the same 159. Here we go. I will read for the Muslims if there's anyone who speak Arabic. Let us make it more uh, smaller text. Uh, we need to, to zoom more. The problem when you zoom in, the space go wrong. 
Well, we cannot zoom more. Yeah, we can zoom more actually. All right. So you will see here it says, The jinn were created before Adam, peace upon him. And, and before them in the earth, there was Al-Hin and Al-Bin. And Allah, he ordered the genie to go after them and they killed them. And they kicked them out and they killed a lot of them. And then after that, they, uh, they did live like those who survive from this war uh, they live where was a canoe bad home ah, so the so then the, the people they came and live after them here all right um, and then and here actually uh, Ibn Kathir is saying that there was a tribe of the angels Tribes of the angels, they've been called al jinn, and because they touch genie and uh, and masu jinn and masu a jinn lianna hum khazanu jannah, and they touch the genie because they were the one who uh, store in the jannah in the in the heaven of Allah. <laughs> I mean, it's a stupid story. Uh, and here Ibn Abbas is saying different story, and I mean it's a, it's a, it's really crazy stuff. Uh, let us see here what it says. Yeah, but as you see, this is Ibn Kathir. This is not just anyone. Ibn Kathir he confirmed that there was a creatures exist before Adam people, and those people Allah he waged war against them because they shed the blood. But the question, blood of who? You see, we are going back to zero because those creatures who the Muslims, they give them very funny look and description. They shed blood, but shouldn't we ask the blood of who? If we ask Muslims, do genie have a blood? They will say no. Okay. So who are they, those who their blood being shed by those creatures? And this is why Muhammad he speak about that don't you see that you were dead because those creatures they killed you you were dead and then he gave life to you and then he make you dead and he gave life to you and then he make you dead and then he make you life to you and then he at the end, you will return to him after all the cycle of life will, will finish. Now, if we try to understand those creatures who the Muslims, they try to, uh, to present them to us. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can find you something, because the list is bigger than what we just mentioned. Um, let us see. <coughs> You see, I chose the wrong topic in the in the late. It's already twelve. Okay, look what we found here. This is Muslim website trying to explain to the Muslims what was exist and what Allah is teaching. The title. <clears throat> Let me actually translate to English so you can read with me. There was creatures before man. What their name? Read carefully with me. I'm not the one who's saying that. So don't don't say Christian Prince is saying that. This is not me. This is you Muslims. All right. Who are those creatures? The creatures are as the following. Al Hin. The translation here is false. Al Hin. It's not coffee and Al Bin. Al Bin, not coffee. And then Al Men, not 
not uh, not can okay al hinu wal binu wal khin actually here the khin so here we have to add the letter khay uh, letter h that will make it khin and then al min and then uh ad din you see the translation is very let me type it for you on the screen hold on give me a second <coughs> Because this uh, Google translation is missing things up. <coughs> okay. All right. There's the gen, and there's the bin, and there's the hen, and there's the hen, and there's the men, and there's the den, and there is the ness and this is their pictures according to the muslims imagination the bin you see the tra translation is coming as the coffee which is false this is their look those are the bin those are the people of bin not, not mr bean this is different uh, family all right and then uh, we have uh, after after the coffee or Mr. Ben, sorry, we have Al Hen. Those are Al Hen. They have like if you watch the car the the pirate of the Caribbean, he have roots coming from his head, and he have uh, uh, you know uh, his 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 hands like roots, you know, like tree. And you will notice here they are adopting something written in a weird language all right this is actually is coming from the old ancient uh you know script this is nothing new this is not this is not muhammad uh, uh, creation this is what they believe and then after al hen as you see this is how they look like then we have al khin khin not Khan, Khin. And this is how Al Khin look like. According to them, not according to me. I don't believe in this madness anyway. All right. So this is Mr. Khin, and this is how his people look like. All of them, they look like this. You see? Al Khin. And then we have after that Al Men. Men, not Mena, Men. And this is how men look like and each picture here present a nation this is not one person all right this is how his the people look like and you will notice here notice here this is the old ancient Arabic let us say for, since the beginning of Islam this is why you see the, the way it's written and you will you you will think yourself you are reading maybe like a kind of a Buddhist uh, or uh, or a Hindu uh, Indian language, isn't it? But right away you will see here the word Allah. I don't know if you can see it with me. All right? So this is this is Al Hen. Uh, sorry, this is Al Min, and this is how Mr. Al Min and his family and his people look like. And they are a great nation, they are not like a small, uh, tiny nation. And uh, what else? And then Al Din, how Al Din look like? Let us see, interesting. Are you guys enjoying the, the class? Here we go. You forced me to talk about it today. Look now, let us see how you will sleep. This is Al Din. Those are a nation. You see, remember we showed you the book. It says they are a 28 nation. And here they are counting some of them. And this is what the Muslims believe. Now, I'm sure many of the Muslims, they never heard this before. But, I mean, I never heard of a Muslim actually. He heard anything before. So, uh, this creature in front of us, he is from the nation of Aden. 
Then there is the last one. The, I don't. I could not find a, a picture for him, for his nation. It's called a Ness. A Ness. And they say, you see, a Ness. Look at this, a Ness. What does that mean? Let us go. The Muslim believe that a Ness is the original creatures of a human being. The ancestor of a man, do you see even the translation of Gogol is showing you that the Muslim believe that this is the Ness is the ancestor. That explain where is the word Nas is coming from in the Quran. If you go in the Quran, you will find it says the following. A Nas. And just to show you, <clears throat> more fiction. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of the Nas or a Nas, the King of a Nas, the God of the Nas. From the evil who whisper, the whisperer who sneak and whisper, he whisper in the heart of mankind, of jinn and mankind. This is the Muslim translation, not me, but in Arabic it says Anas. So the ancestor of a human being, he was from a kind, it's called Anas. And then a nest became nest. Now, I'm sure that you guys, uh, first time I hear a story about a story. Well, and I mean, you see, always there is a reason for me to mention a story. If there is no reason, I don't mention it. Uh, I got a, I got a text from a you know an email. From somebody uh, speaking about uh, some people believe uh, they claim that the Christians they are copying from the Hindus, etc. So I said, okay, as long as you are saying that, let us go and see. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just to respond to what they say because the fact it is them who believe that you were dead. Now, how many of you uh, took notes that you were dead and he made you alive? Again and again and again and again. How many of you took a note? Which verse, which chapter this chapter is? Anyone remember? Which chapter this one, which it says that why you disbelieve when Allah, he made you dead. You were dead and he made give you life. And you were, and then he gave you dead and he make you life. Anyone remember? This is a chapter 2, verse number 28. I will show them both in one image. Chapter 2. All right, let's zoom in. Verse number 28. Now, again, remember this verse is a clear evidence of the core of Believe of Hinduism in Islam. Islam is based in Hinduism Because Muhammad is speaking to people who they are alive in his time claiming that they were dead And then he made them alive and then he made them dead and then he made them alive <laughs> the same people How they were dead in order to say that to me, you have to believe, and I have to believe, in, in order to agree with you, that I believe I was dead, that's mean I was alive before, and then you gave me life. This is exactly what Hinduism believe, reincarnation. You are created from water, as the Quran said. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ 
and we created from water every living thing every living thing and this is exactly what Hinduism believe that the source of water the source of uh, life is Lord Vishnu who is of the water and he have all the element of life from the water every living thing was created why you don't believe and here again in order to believe in such a thing I have to agree with you to say to me don't you see don't don't they, don't they know guys do you see here it says maybe many of us don't notice that there is something is not right in this verse because he's saying to them don't they know so this is not a new discovery this is a belief they believe in you know what I mean it's not something they will find out like Muslim they say to you this is the Big Bang and the, the, the that's fiction it doesn't say that he says don't they know it is something they know and something they believe and something they agree you understand me because when I say don't you know it's mean we both know it is something known is not something will happen in the future or something happened in the past to the point nobody saw it don't they know and actually the translation here is not accurate it says don't they see in Arabic it says Alam Yara if you change the translator look just to show you how the the fiction of the the, the translation in Islam work if I choose any translation any, anything you know it, it you know it says don't they see uh, translating here get don't they know but it doesn't say that it changed the translator again I will show you what translation I'm choosing those are not my translation this is Muslim translation Ahmad Ali let's see Ahmad Ali yeah see here the translation is coming more accurate it says don't the unbelievers see it is something they witness how you can witness it unless you can you will exist and then you die and you will exist and then you give your life again as it says in the other verse you know what I mean so they will exist from the beginning and don't you see that's mean they witness everything but did the man witness the earth and the heaven used to be together so either Muhammad is speaking about scientifically error believe that the earth and the heaven they separated and Allah he left up the sky and that's what he's saying Or he is saying they were there and they witness and when he say don't they don't they see that Allah he made from the water every living thing and then again this is a very stupid statement because the Quran says that Allah he created the genie from uh, fire and the angels are created from light <clears throat> so how everything every living thing is created from from water so Muhammad he adopted the Hindu belief about the water thing but by adopting that adoption he got himself busted by saying that the genie are created from fire and this is supposed it was the reason uh, Uh, shaitan refused to bow down to Adam read it this is the reason Adam uh, shaitan is saying to Adam you want me to uh, bow down to Adam and he is uh, uh, and he is created from uh, 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 mud and I'm created from fire do you see it this is the reason Satan he refused to bow down to Adam because Adam is created from mud, which means as the same as the Hindus believe. The element, the water is everything, and the element is inside it. So there is mud, there is there is a there is a there is water and sand. We mix them together, we make mud. And shaitan, he is not made from mud, neither from water, he is from fire. And fire is far away to say that fire is water.
right? Don't speak, don't say Hindu are bad. Why you are saying Hindus are bad? Hindu are people like us. There's nothing is called you see, there's a there's a bad everybody everybody will be judged by his fruits. There's Hindu people who they are wonderful, and there is bad people. Same as the Christians, there is many they claim to be Christian, but they are criminals. They wear a cross, but they shoot people. They wear a cross, but they are drugs. So I don't like stupid statement in the chat. Be aware of your words, otherwise I will block you. Now, as you see here, I think there is somebody here is seeking to be uh, here we go. We block this person. Okay. So all the verses they point to one thing. Allah He created the uh, the, the the creation and He recreate. Look how many verses we showed you. He reproduce. And that explain the verse where that you were you were dead and he gave you life and then he you then you die and then he give you life but how many how, how many time we die and how many time we live that is a very Hindu belief and the verses like this is all over the Quran chapter 29 verse number 20 He will create another creation. So you create you and he will create another creation of you, of who? Of you. All those verses, as you see, we showed you tons of them. So I hope that we did explain uh, or we gave some explanation for what the Muslims really believe, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, remember, Muslims, most of them didn't even know what they believe in. Muslims are people who I heard, he said, she said. I never saw a Muslim he knew. Actually, until now, I ask a Muslim, who is Allah? They can't even say to me what Allah. What the word Allah mean, they do not know. What the word Isa mean, they do not know. What the word Maryam mean, they don't know. What the word Ibrahim mean, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. And then we end with this. Jinn and Ben and men and madness. This is what they believe in. If you go right now and search, you will find that they believe that even genie, they can have sex with their women. Islam is nothing but a collection of legions and fiction stories. I mean, look at this. This is a female, supposedly. But by the way, she looked good. You know, we have to be honest here. I mean, she looked really nice. And what this guy is holding? What he's doing? I mean, somehow like... Uh, I don't know. I, I thought he's a cousin or something. What this guy? What is this? What what is that? So and the funny, the one who bought who bought those pictures. By the way, I'm I'm not saying that those are. I showed you the Muslim website who is posting those pictures in their website. You see, I showed you this website, if you remember, right, in Arabic. This is a Muslim website. This is not my website. They are posting those things here. And here we go. Who are they, the hen and the bin and hen and men and den and sin, which they live before, before a human being? And here you get all the explanation. And all the pictures. 
This is not my website. I have nothing to do with it. Because you know Muslim, they will say to you, well, don't believe him. I'm just showing you what they believe. All right? And here, by the way, it looked like this is a government or something have to do with Morocco. So this is a Moroccan website. You see here the picture of the king. The picture of the king. The king of Morocco. So, if until now you are not convinced that Islam is a collection of fictions, well, then you have to explain why Islam cannot explain Islam. Why, when we say like, okay, Allah, He will create somebody to inherit the earth. Why the Muslims? Why Ibn Kathir, who is a biggest scholar, says that there was a group of nation they lived before Adam and the people in the earth, and Allah He sent an army. Why they believe in this stuff? Why we find those stories all over their books? Where is the confusion coming from? And the funny, the Quran says, uh, link for what? For that website? I just to close it. But anyway, let me, uh, I can open it for you, no problem. Um, it's called Al-Hiba, something like that. <clears throat> um, give me a second. Now, now you remember to give you the website <laughs> after I close it. <laughs> okay, hold on. I can go back to the history and check it out. Just wait. I think I can find it in this way. History. Oh. Uh, <sighs> when I go to history, it takes me to images. Let us see this. Maybe this one. Um, this is a different one, but... Uh, Here we go, we find it for you. Thank God. This is the link. All right. Are we good? Did you see it, my friend, the link you asked for? Did you get it? All right. Now, I hope that you will not see bad uh, dreams after we showed you those images, which is very interesting. But... You know, uh, uh, the more we learn about uh, this religion, or if we can call it religion, the more we notice how much stories. This is why the you see the Quran. What the Arab, what the Arab uh, said to Muhammad, they said to him many times. This is nothing but fairy tales of the old people. Look, all those verses saying that. All those, you know, they say those are the tales. Those are nothing but tales. They are not reading from God. What are you talking about? Look, this is the fairy tales. You see, the Arab at that time, they said that to him. They did not say we don't, uh, you know. So at that time, there was a smart Arab, educated Arab who don't believe in those stories. And they told Muhammad, this is not nothing but the fairy tales of the ancient. We heard those before. You see? This is nothing but the fabulous of old days. So maybe Muhammad, he is the same as many Arab believe, but there's many of the Arab, they don't believe in this too. Now, I made it this late, so people who they are in Indonesia, they can join us and those who live in certain area they can be with us early in the morning so i want to say thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and i hope 
we learn something new how many of you heard something new today did we I hope so you know but every time we go live on air we know we speak about something new and uh, it doesn't matter how many how many time we repeat a story but you see like the, the problem is you, you have always to give me a reason to tell you something extra why because usually I focus on things which is let us say the fastest easiest way to prove Islam to be stupid those things they take too much work and too much research and I have to translate from Arabic because there's no translation for them in English and I have to use the stupid Google translation which is very funny so usually we, we avoid talking about those stuff but you have to give me a reason and if you give me a reason you will get the answer so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and Ante will see you again I wish you a very uh, very good uh, Sunday don't forget to pray for all those who need your prayer pray for the sick pray for the poor especially the sick and the poor those that need the Lord's support pray for those who they are hungry pray for the children's who they are you know they don't have family the orphan pray for everybody who is suffering in this earth this is the this is the earth of suffering and having Christian like people we make life better we make it less suffering we will not stop the suffering we cannot but we can make life better so Pray and do the work, not only pray. Pray and do the work. Those who pray without work, they are not Christians. All right? If somebody, if you know somebody is hungry and he needs a sandwich, don't pray that God will send him a sandwich. This is not what God taught you. If you know somebody is old and he needs your help, don't pray that God will send somebody to help. You do the help. You just you know that this person needs help. Do what you need to do, so that will be done to you, my friend. That will be done to you. The one who is good with his parents, his children will be good with him. Imagine if you are a very bad person who with his parents. And then one day you say to your son, is that what you do to your dad or your mom? He will say, Dad, did you see? Do you remember what you did to your dad too? Do you remember? You know what I mean? Do you remember what you did to your dad? So why you want me to be good to you? Be Christian, be loving, be useful, be the fruit of the Lord. And pray for those who curse you, pray for those who hate you. For that will clean your heart and will make you live longer and happier. Hate will destroy us. Anger will make us like a glass with a lot of cracks, you know, hate and anger and hate go and inside those cracks and make them bigger and bigger and bigger until one day I will crush. My hate will kill me. Live, my friend, and be happy. For you are a child of God. When you pray, the Messiah, our Lord, he says you pray like this. Say, our Father, not our God, even though he's our God. Imagine me and you, we call the Messiah by saying the Messiah. We don't even say his almighty. We don't say even like the Muslim, they say when they say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi was, we say just the Messiah, we say Yeshua. Can you imagine how humble he is? We are talking to the living God and we call him Yeshua. We call him by his name. This is how humble he is. You go to your boss, you call him sir. You see a police officer, you call him sir. You speak to the to the Lord, the Messiah, the, the one who created us. We call him, we say Messiah. We say Yeshua. This is how humble he is. This is why he washed our feet. So he can be the best example for those who want to follow him. Never be proud, except about being doing good. But even don't talk about it. The Lord, he says, if you give with the right hand, don't let left, the left hand know. Be proud, for you are following Christ inside your heart, but don't be proud talking about it. For those who they speak about what they do, they get the reward of this earth. But the Lord, the, our Father, the Messiah, the Holy Spirit is always with us, and they see what we do.
You do not need witnesses. They are always there. Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. And yet they say to you how Jesus says he is God, worship me. The Messiah, my friend, is the walking, talking, living word of God. He is with us every second, every moment. And we are not people who believe in fictions and fairy tale stories. Our God is real. And he is coming back. And actually, he never left us. He says, I will leave you, but I will never leave you alone. So pray in this coming Sunday. And if you are already in Sunday, pray for those who need your prayer. Pray for the whole world. Pray, pray for the sick. Pray for the old. Pray for yourself to be guided and not to be fooled, not to be proud about things you don't own. Don't be proud about life you have because you think you will live forever. Yesterday you were a child. Tomorrow you will be dead. The Messiah, he said, let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury the dead because all of us, we are dead already. It's just a matter of time. All of us, we will be a collection of bones. You like it, you don't. So let your bones live forever as a creature, a new creature with God. Whoever believe in me and die will live. And our God, because he's a true God, he do not need to tempt us to promise us virgins and boys and silver and gold in his heaven for that is not the heaven of God this is the heaven of the devil who tried to tempt you he tried to tempt your pocket he tried to tempt you from your waist and down your private part for all of it is about temptation while God is fighting temptation with us helping us supporting us Islam God is encouraging you to be tempted temptation is the way of Life in Islam, in Christianity, is holiness. And this is why we are Christians. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't like my videos, please unsubscribe. I do my work for the Lord, not for you. Christ is Lord. I mean to that, and happy Sunday. God bless.